president. We've heard from the White House probably 10 o'clock our time is when we're going to hear from him addressing the nation. But of course, that changes. And Ukrainian leadership has now said at least 40 people have now been killed in what they're calling a full scale war this morning. An advisor to Ukraine's president says about 40 of those people are troops and 10 civilians in Russia's attack there on the country. And here's some of the new images that we have from Ukraine this morning. Let's go through some of this new video we're just seeing. And this is the eerie sight here. The streets of Ukraine's second largest city, nearly vacant now following uh, Russia launching its attack on Ukraine. And Ukraine residents, they're fleeing. I want to show you some more new video that we've got as uh, Russia has launched a wide-ranging attack. Here's video from their capital city, Kiev. And you can see the streets are empty now. That's what it looked like before as folks are just trying to get out. Long line of cars causing massive traffic jams there in their capital city. In fact, railway stations overcrowded as people are trying to leave that area. Explosions have been heard in that capital city as well. We're going to take a live look from Kiev in just a moment uh, from now. Also, more video here, guys, I want to show you as well. Um, I believe this is some social media. Yeah, social media video of explosions there. Users are posting this this morning, what appears to be explosions in central Ukraine. And again, they've also been heard in the capital city as well. So it's not uh, remote areas that we're talking about here this morning. It's all over that country. And again, more images of the destruction that we're seeing this morning. Just devastating to see this. Martial law has been declared by the president of Ukraine, President Zelensky. Of course, after months of buildup, Russian forces, a full invasion of Ukraine. We know that President Biden spoke with Ukraine's President Zelensky by phone last night. And this morning, the Ukrainian president has issued a call to arms to his people there. While well, the U.S. and its allies are pledging this morning to hold Russia accountable. And here's that live look from Ukraine's capital city. It sure looks calm and quiet from this vantage point. This is Maiden Square there in Kyiv, uh, the capital city. And uh, a Ukrainian member of parliament is pleading with the American people this morning, asking the president of the United States to issue you uh, further sanctions on Russia. So again, we're going to hear from President Biden. He's going to speak with the leaders of G7 nations to coordinate the response, and then he will address the American people, promising severe sanctions are coming. That's what we've heard from the White House. Again, no official time, Kirk and Ashley, but possibly 10 a.m. is what we're hearing, and that's why we keep it live and local. As yeah. soon as the president speaks, we'll bring it to you live, and if we get an update on that time, we'll let you know if it does change. And of course, we know you'll be updating this